presenting my greatest invention, the Flintlock. <laughs> Flint. Flint. Well, oh, I thank you, Professor Einstein. I, uh, I'm like, I can't drive. Flint. Do you want to take your space car? Flint. <laughs> Dad, I was just having, um, and there's having a, Albert was there. It's time. It's four in the morning. It's also me and Dad fishing weekend. This is me and your grandpa on our first me and Dad fishing weekend. We were like two sardines riding the red lobster of fun. We even sang a camp song. Camp song, camp song, camp song, camp song, camp song, camp song. Good times. But the best part was fishing for the biggest, most legendary fish in all of Swallow Falls. Some say the sardemon is this big. Some say, this big. Whoa. They say one look in his cold, dead eye turns a man to gravel. Also, his fin is said to pierce the hearts of Flint. Oh, uh, I, I was sleep listening. Hope you're ready for fun. Sure, sounds great. Me and fishing, try to stop me. It's just, well, you know. My mattress really needs a tune-up, and this pillow could use some calibrating, and I have to reinstall the sheets. So you don't want to go? No! Me and Dad fishing weekend sounds like a total blast! I mean, come on. Open sea survival? Terrifying wild animals? Near you? At all times? You get to sleep on the ground. That's where bugs and moisture are. Great. I'll get the gear. Smell that air. <laughs> nature sure is buggy. Bugs are nature's lungs. I thought trees are nature's lungs. Speaking of trees, why don't you give one a hug? Okay. No, like this. Ah. A little more grunting from the diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, <laughs> better answer that. Could be a me and dad related emergency. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. Sam, I hope I'm not waking you. Waking me? I haven't slept. Your monkey. Lab assistant Steve. You said babysitting would be easy. He's eaten three packs of donuts, a bag of coffee, and my favorite pillow. He's gone nuts. <laughs> yeah, he loves nuts. And phones. Watch your phone around him. Are you having a good time? What do you think? I don't know how to fish, I'm all rashy, and I'm pretty sure black flies laid eggs in my lungs. Ah, gross. Just go with the flow, Flint. Relax. Can't relax. It's not like I'm testing radioactive isotopes. This is nature. Oh, you're gonna have a great time. Your dad's so funny. A fish never wears a hat when it's raining outside. The girl knows her fishing metaphors. Let's go, son. A fish never waits for water to get wet. See? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I wish I was there, but hey, don't, you give that back! Sam's right. I can do this. Just relax and breathe. Oh, so relaxed. Oh. Let's see. Too barky. Too pokey. Too flat. Too soft. Ah. Too moist. Too boring. Your grandpa and I always had fun picking out the perfect campsite. Uh, I'm no expert on fishing weekends, but shouldn't we be, you know, fishing? Isn't there a legendary sardine waiting for us? It'll wait. Mm, it's too rocky. 
Go on, give it a go. <sighs> How about here? Mm. Good gradient, decent texture. It's got a nice slope. It's good drainage. Okay, see how fun that was? How about we put up the tent? You know what this is? A tent peg? It's a tent peg. I call this one Peggy. <laughs> That's a camping joke. Now, if you want a secure tent, you gotta hammer in each peg 17 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Now, let's do peg two. Dad, this is a whole lot of fun and all, but what do you say I make this whole process move a little faster? Ta-da! The flintlockwood tent grenade! <laughs> Right, Dad? Dad? Maybe this will be more your speed, son. Here's that song your grandpa and I always sang. I start, you follow. Camp song. Camp song. No, you're too late. Camp song. Camp song. Too early. And now, okay, relax. It's just an easy song. Camp song. Camp song. Camp song. Camp song. Camp song. There's two words in it. Camp song. song. I can't do it, okay? I'm not Grandpa. We can't have fun the same way. I gotta water the lawn. Flint, how's the big father-son weekend thing going? It's not working, Sam. I'm trying to have fun, but uh, I just want to go home. This was a bad idea. We'll leave in the morning. Wait, Dad, I, I didn't mean... Good night, son. Uh, Flint, you gotta do something. You're right. And I know just what to do. <laughs> what? Happy me and Dad fishing weekend! Remix! <laughs> Flint, it's raining sardines. Don't thank me. Thank the Flint Lockwood Fish Precipitator. <gasps> Is that the sardemon? No. Is that it? Too small. How about that one? Too gray. That one over there? Too blue. What about this? Too gray is blue. This one? No, it's thinner than that. Is this it? No, it's thicker than that. This one's pretty long. Not that long. This one's really yes, wide. Yes, but it's not that dense. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, that's a pen. I thought you wanted to go home. That was before I knew how much fun fishing could be. Check out my Flint Lockwood Slimatronic Ultra Enticing Worm Suit. <laughs> First of all, sardines don't eat worms. Secondly, those things do. Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off. Get off. Come on! Flint, you don't have to try so hard. I appreciate it, but it's not just about catching fish. It's about trying to catch fish together. You know, Dad and me. Got it. Now, please, don't wear that ever again. This is what it's all about. <sighs> you know, this is pretty great. Now, let's just work on casting the line. First, you hold down the button on the reel. Then you bring the rod forward, slowly releasing your thumb, like so. Nice try, son. But next time, more fish, less face. Got it. Hey, better, but I don't think you're gonna catch the sardemon like that. Uh, hmm, nothing wrong with that. Good job, son. And now, we wait. It could take all day, and that's the beauty of it. I once waited for a whole... Whoa! You got a bite! Me? I caught a fish? Flint! You caught yourself a fish! The sardemon? You said the sardemon was this big! That was 30 years ago! I guess it's grown up! Ah! What do we do now? I don't know! Grandpa and I never got this far! Give me the reel! No way, Dad! I got this!
Huh. Sorry, Dad. This was a complete disaster. Are you kidding? This is the proudest day of my life. My son caught the Sardemon! The Sardemon! The Sardemon! The Sardemon! Wow. You know what, Dad? I used to think fishing was gross and boring, and it is, but that was amazing. Can we do me and Dad fishing weekend next year? You know something, son? Next time we'll do something you want to do. It's me and Dad inventing day! Yikes! Expect some lot more than relaxation, followed by a 90% chance of sunshine, happiness, and puppies. Now let's shake things up with some sultry sounds of wind. Ah, <sighs> happy place. This is so relaxing. Flint, what are you doing? Celebrating the big day. Big day? Oh, right. I keep forgetting you're not from around here. Miss moves around a lot. It's Sardine Fest! I was trying to ignore that. Don't worry, Sam. You're gonna love Sardine Fest. There are sardine games, sardine karaoke, sardine theater, sardine marionettes, and best of all, sardine races. Sardine races? Hmm. They have little riding boots and helmets. I'm in. Pretty cool, huh? Not as gross as I thought. <laughs> Yay! What? What are they doing? Look, it's Cirque du Sardine. That, oh, oh. That's not safe. Those poor fish. And what's sardine fast without some delicious sardine cotton candy? This takes disgusting to a whole new level of... Blah, blah. Step right up, folks! Papa Balloon! Win a prize! I'll give it a go. Mm. Another win for my unibrowed friend! Come on, come on! Unleash your inner sardine! Get on board for the saltiest, squishiest ride of your life! Now squish it! Come on, there's room! Elbows in! Squeeze it up, tuck your tummies and your touches. Come on, let's go! Woo! This is awesome! Oh! A ride? No, it's more of an experience. Well, at least sardines aren't getting hurt. It's now time for the sardine race to start! <laughs> Racers, get your sardines! This year I'm so going to win! Wait, aren't you a little big to ride a sardine? Oh, <laughs> Sam, Sam, that's not how this works at all! Racers to the starting line! Is that thing even safe? <gasps> Right, I almost forgot. Oh, poor thing. Chipow! Over here, future losers. Bask in my feet of engineering awesomeness. That's a block of concrete. It's a racing brick, Nerdzilla. Look at it. Look what my mare dad bought me. Remember, son, no matter who wins, it better be you. Yes, father. Racers! Racers! First sardine to hit the water wins. On your mark. Get set. Go! And they're off. Those poor sardines. It's a tie. <sighs> According to bylaw 5738A, that means I keep the prize money. Just like last year. Not fair! Come on! I demand a recount! I guess we'll just have to keep racing until we have a winner. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say something here? 
This is not a sardine race. This is a mockery of a sardine race. Where is the humanity? The compassion? I know you're all having fun playing fishy go push ball splash, but what about the sardines? Do you think they like it? Of course they don't. They love it. It's true, Sam. They race off the cliff and then swim to their fishy homes where they're greeted as heroes and get free ice cream for life. Ha! Where did you hear that, Hokum? And the wee sardines race off the cliff and swim back to their fishy homes where they're greeted as heroes and get free ice cream for life. That'll be 50 cents. Money in the hat. Stories aren't free. See? It's true. Theater never lies. First off, that's all theater does. Secondly, sardines don't eat ice cream. And thirdly, the race will always end up in a tie. There can never be a winner. Racers to the starting line for race number two. Well, there can only be one winner. Me! No, me! No, me! Oh. <laughs> going to win. What? Flint, think about it. You're a scientist. Of course I am. The stylish lab coat, the expressive hair, hundreds of followers online. Maybe not hundreds, but they, they're, they're reading it. Ugh. What did Galileo say? Does this telescope make my beard look weird? No, the other thing. Two bodies of, of different, different masses, masses drop from the same height will land at the same time in the absence of air resistance. resistance. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to say. That's why the race is always a tie. <gasps> it's a race no one can win. And if it's a tie, Shelburne gets to keep, keep the, the money. money, so... All this time, we've been tossing defenseless sardines off a cliff for no reason. You're really only seeing this now? Sam? Yes? We have to stop the races! Mayor Shelburne, stop the sardine races, or we'll tell everyone how you keep the prize money for yourself. We'll tell them how the race is fixed, how it's always a tie. Pish posh. I'd like to see you try. You think they'll believe you over me? I'll ruin you, inventor boy. And you. If you ever want to do another weather report in this town again, you better start playing ball. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to take my winnings to the vault. <laughs> oh, it's hopeless. He doesn't care about anything. We have to take our message to the people. Pull on some heartstrings. I'll do the talking, you pump up the crowd. Gotcha. Okay, folks, get ready to sardine like you've never saw done before. People of Swallow Falls, there's something fishy about your sardine races. Every day during Sardine Fest, over three sardines are tossed off a cliff to their certain fishy doom. Ever wondered why the ocean is so salty? Sardine tears. Please, stop these senseless races. <laughs> these overly sentimental yokels are starting to listen to that outsider. Folks, this isn't just a sardine tragedy. You're being tricked by a super sneaky scam. <gasps> Silence the outsider! Mayor Shelburne, you have the power to stop these sardine races. Look into your heart. These disgusting little angels are depending on you. Yummy! No! Who here wants me to stop the sardine races? If these races cease to go ahead, our society will crumble and no one will ever love anyone ever again. <gasps> no, let me think. Do you like him? The old lady there was quite vociferous. All right, this person enjoyed it. Okay, that's the entire town up against the new girl and the nerd. You lose. <laughs> Losers! And people actually vote for him? He's very charismatic. You know, shaking hands, kissing babies. Hey, I'm the mayor. <laughs> well, I would... Love to smooch that adorable monster, but I'm this is a new suit. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Doesn't want to kiss the babies. Interesting. Stop the 
races, or we'll tell everyone that you don't kiss babies. But babies are weird. Their heads are so disproportionately bigger than their bodies, and they have the big buggy eyes. And if you push on the soft spot in the back of their head, those eyes go crosswise. It's frightening, and they smell. Babies of Swallow Falls. <laughs> The mayor won't kiss! <laughs> They're my biggest constituency. <laughs> Fine! You win! For the safety of the sardines, I've decided to suspend the races! Boo! Instead, we will compete with sardine-friendly catapults! Yes! And for extra safety, adorable helmet. Aww. <laughs> The helmets are pretty cute. I can live with that. Whoa! What the? Helmets. What next? Pants? Whoa! Why are they messing with perfection? 